A company installs 5,000 light bulbs, with each with an average life of 500 hours, standard deviation of 100 hours, and distribution approximated by a normal curve. Find the approximate number of bulbs that can be expected to last a specified time, and we want to go between 540 and 780. Well, very similar to the last problem we worked, if you want to draw a picture just to solidify in your mind what you're going to be doing, you're looking at um, going between 540 and 780. Now, I know the mean is 500 hours, so 540 is somewhere just slightly to the right of the mean, and then, of course, 780 is going to be further over. So I'm looking for that area right there. Those are x values. Now, I know that I can't look up the x values directly, so I've got to convert using the formula z equals x minus mu over sigma. In this case, mu is 500 and sigma is 100. And when I convert that, I end up with a standard normal distribution, whose mean, of course, is 0. But I don't want to go from 0. I want to go something slightly to the right of 0. So I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have some number here that number represents the 540 after it's converted to a Z, and then another number over here, and that number there is going to be what 780 is after it gets converted. Well, how do you convert them? You subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation. You can probably do this in your head. If you take 540 and subtract 500, you get 40, and if you divide it by 100, 40 divided by 100 is point four. So that little value right there is point four. And then if you take 780 and divide by, I mean subtract 500, you get uh, 280. And if you take 280 and divide by 100, you're going to get 2.8. So that value right there is 2.8. And I did that in my head. You could do the same. If you're not good at it, in your head, you can of course use your calculator, but what you're really doing is finding the probability that x is between 540 and 780. And then you're converting it to a z value. And we, to convert 540, you take 540, subtract the mean, which is 500, and divide by the standard deviation. And then to convert 780, you take the mean away and divide by the standard deviation. And as I said, 540 minus 500 is 40, and 40 divided by 100 is 0.4. That's just what I got up here when I did it in my head. And 780 minus 500 is 280. 280 divided by 100 is 2.8. Again, I've done that in my head already. So a lot of this stuff, if you know what you're doing, you can just jump straight to it. But I'm trying to organize it so that you can uh, feel confident when you're working these things, you haven't made a careless mistake. But anyway, that's what it comes down to. You're looking for this area right in here. So what do you do? You look up the top number in the table, the right number which is 2.8, and then you look up the small number, 0.4, and subtract the two. So go to the table and look up 2.8. So here we go. 2.8 2.80, there it is right there, 0.9974. And then subtract, oops, and look up the bottom number, the left number, which is 0.4. If you look up 0 0.40, you get that number, which is 0.6554. And when you subtract those two numbers, you end up with 0 0.3420. So about 34.2% of these um, light bulbs should last between 540 and 780 hours. There are 5,000 bulbs, about 34.2% of them last within that interval. And again, we'll round it to the nearest unit, nearest bulb, so I'm going to say approximately. So if you take 5,000 multiplied by 0.342, about 34.2%, 
to the nearest bulb you get 1710 bulbs. That should last between um, 540 and 780 hours.